All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to Cremiel's Adventure. Yes. Now, I will just tell you right off the bat, I was made aware in the first video of the series that I basically suck very much at character creation. <laughs> I am very bad at D&D style um, character creation with uh, these stats. That said, uh, before that comment was made, I did actually make three more videos. And um, I saw the comment. Let me actually show you the comment real quick. Okay, so I saw this comment, um, which is correct. I saw this comment after I recorded and after I figured out what I did wrong. Okay. Now, I actually know what I did wrong, but... Uh, yeah, you can read this if you want, pause real quick, but since most of y'all are probably either Baldur's Gate 3 veterans or <laughs> D&D veterans, apparently, probably D&D veterans, because I'm very bad at D&D, I am making mistakes. I will let you know right off the bat, okay? I have never played D&D. This is my first D&D style game, I know I've said this before, but I will say it again. Dungeon and Dragons was not popular ever in Romania, where I live, okay? It's an American game, it's, an, it's an, an American tabletop game, which has not been popularized in Romania whatsoever. I've never played Dungeon and Dragons before, and I've never actually heard about Dungeon and Dragons until about 10 years ago. So, yeah. Uh, that said, I have noticed my character, Kremiel, right now, being a Shadow Weaver slash Blackguard does in fact focus on Wisdom and Charisma. However, also I, I need to lower my Dexterity. At least as far as I'm aware. Because my armor does not allow only plus two, okay? It, it only allows a plus two Dexterity modifier for the armor class. Which means the extra one is only used for... Unlocking chests, doors, and such for for saving throws, basically, and for well, for weapons, for finesse weapons, which I do not use. So it's literally wasted points, if you will. Uh, I do need to pump the constitution back. I know I can and should be using wisdom and charisma on this class, but currently, the skills I have. Well, they do make use of Charisma and Wisdom, these three specifically, which are for... They are basically my damage dealers, okay? I do not use them very much, so I will not use Charisma and Wisdom right now. I will stick to Strength. I know for a fact Astarion has... <clears throat> uh, you know what, I'm not gonna spoil, but let's just say I will keep Strength at 17, okay? Uh, actually... Actually, I'm gonna lower strength by one, because I will respec at least two times more, just for Kremiel alone. <laughs> so, yeah. With that said, currently I believe Shadowheart is the only character that actually makes sense, because she's a cleric. And most of her stuff are wisdom saves, okay? If you read everything, most of her stuff are wisdom. Also Constitution, I do have one that is Dex, apparently, Sacred Flame, which I don't really use all that much. Uh, let me check this, this is Int, which would make sense why it's missing a lot. Um, then we got Astarion, which is Int and Dex, and he is apparently correct by default setup. Then we got good old 22 Int Wizard right now, and 10 Wisdom on uh, Grandpa Gale. Apparently this is a, a dex save, which I was not aware of until I actually read it, like, uh, before finishing the last episode. I did actually figure that one out, but I did not touch Lazelle other than just making her an Eldritch Knight. I will let you know right now. Uh, I did not assign these stat points, but apparently they should be correct, even though... Even though the Eldritch Knight does in fact use Int. 
Okay? It's intelligence saves for spells, apparently. But since I only have... Well, I got this one. But we don't care for your intelligence save on this one, as far as I'm aware. There, There's no save on this one. Thunder Punch has int save, so int being on 10, it might fail a lot, but we don't really care about that right now. What I really care about right now with Lazel is to just hit. Okay, so just hit. That's it. I will lower the strength from 17 to 16 and put one into Dex. She does use medium armor, so plus two, we need that. Not sure why it's 15 on con, but sure. But yeah, again, I was made aware of that uh, huge mistake I did on character creation with Kremiel. And thank you to Ender7 or Ender the Xenocide uh, 2112. I'm sorry, I almost accidentally hard butchered your name. Thanks again for the, the comment and the information. Now, let me actually move on to the game. Because last time we saved Saza, the good old gobble, over there. Oh man, I wish I could just enter first person, I'm not gonna lie. I can't see. Good old Saza over here, and we're trying to bust her out from the grove. Now, I know for a fact, since the other guy attacked, and also since I've tried this before, <laughs> one time only... That if I open this door and go out, everybody's just gonna try to attack me. So I'm not gonna do that. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go through the back, which I've never done before. But since I've done that playthrough, or rather since I had that save, I was not aware we can jump down here. Huh. Hold up. So since I've done that playthrough, I've actually advanced a little bit in Baldur's Gate 3 knowledge a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, though. Don't hold your hopes too high, because I will fail horribly. Again, I have never finished Act 1, so, yeah. Now, if I go down there... It's a, it's a chasm. I know for a fact I will die if I jump. Even though the game is not letting me jump there. Uh, I may be able to find something, so let me just try to go through the back, because there was a door here, we opened the door, and then there was an explosion. Also, what is up with that light? I need to... I need to look at that, just... <clears throat> trying to zoom in. I think it's just the light from... From where? There is a light coming through the rock. Okay. Okay. So if I jump somewhere around here, is there like a... A way down or something? Oh. Alright. Alright. What is this? A pitchfork? 16 gold apparently? Need to make sure... Is there like a ladder here or something? Ooh. Uh-oh. Yeah, let me... No, Shadow Heart, you're playing with with fire. Actual fire. Actual danger. Alright. That's one down. Gotta make sure I don't find others. And before I jump here and I instantly get blasted. Watch me. <laughs> you know what I could do? Make use of some spells. And I'm gonna probably do that right now. Let me actually try. I'm gonna use Shadow Meld. And you know what? Before I do that, let me figure out where I am. Okay, so I'm gonna teleport here. I'm gonna make use of this spell, which apparently is a mod. Which everybody has nowadays, for some reason. I'm not sure which mod exactly introduced this teleport party function, but it's cool. Now, I could just go and manually blow these up, or I could avoid this entirely. And just shadow meld. In before I shadow meld right on top of one of those. And get myself blown up. Let me ungroup, so they don't randomly follow me. 
I will teleport right here with Shadow Meld. Please, no shrooms. Make sure there's nothing here. There is a rotting basket. Anything inside? A shroom. No new shrooms. Alright, we're going all the way over here. Alright. Now Keep in mind, I don't know if this is going to work, what I'm trying to do right now, but... This is the first time I'm actually going to attempt the teleport party cantrip action. Oh my. It does work. We're, wait, where's Saza? Are you serious? Are, are you serious? You know what? I was not aware I can... Uh, <laughs> I was... Okay, I was not aware I can make Saza just come with me. Alright, give me a second. I, I got interrupted during video recording again. Um, stone door? Question mark. All right, hold up. Let me lower the volume on my kids' PC just a little bit. All right, that was much too high for my liking. Uh, we need to try this door. Let's see now. Where does this? Ooh, okay. And now I can just... I'm just gonna do this again. Alright. That's a cool little mod. I'm not gonna lie. The fact that you can teleport the entire party. Like, I can't teleport Saza with me, but... I was not aware of this door, by the way. So we are right where we saved the dude. With which I forgot to actually talk, by the way. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, there was this dude over here, which we saved, if you remember. And I did, in fact, forget to, to talk to him. Uh, there is a door there. Hold up, are there multiple doors here? Wait, I am confused. Just a smidge, though. Multiple entrances. Alright, uh, stop. Stop. I need to... let's see, I will send Gale in front. Because I don't really know if this is good or bad. So let me just send Gale in front. Hopefully it's not bad. And since I sent Gale up front, Saza is not gonna follow because he's not Kremiel. She seems to be linked to Kremiel for some reason. Enclave Library. Where? Who? What? Will this blow up the... I mean, uh, blow away the, the, the poison? So, this doesn't work. A vent. What if I bust the vent? Is this gonna work? Nope. Alright, I need the Starion. Or do I? Hmm. I'm seeing this poison gas just be around here and here so if I in theory if I just avoid it entirely <laughs> like this this is probably gonna be bad but I'm gonna just do it <clears throat> uh where am I oh no oh oh no yeah uh, let's not go there <clears throat> let us not go there that's where Netty is. <laughs> I need them to not know I'm here. Alright. Uh, link back up. And uh, we are going the other way, which is literally outside the grove. And if re you recall, this is the exact entrance we came through. Is this oil? Yes, it is. Let me not accidentally hit it and let me actually pick it up. Because I may be able to blow something up with that later. Later, You never know in this game. I've never actually used a... Uh, 
any sort of oil barrel, uh, powder barrel, any sort of explosive barrel, if you know what I mean, or flammable barrel. I've only used water barrels. Never gonna get out of there. Okay. Good to be free again, gotta say. Uh, I did boost the volume of the game, so let me let me know how you guys feel about that, okay? I will do this one video with uh, an extra 5 decibels on the game itself. And let me know how you guys feel about it. Alright, um... You made a promise, remember? Never break a promise, unless there's something in it for me. I'll introduce you to my whole tribe, and put in a good word for you. Ah, danke schön. Alright, now hopefully... The gobbles don't, uh... Well, try to... Kill me. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was much easier than I expected. Way easier than I expected, actually. What's inside? Okay. Okay, so that's where the goblin stronghold is. Kinda, in that direction. I am gonna do something I've never done before, by the way. But first... The sky is glitchy, it's fine. First, I'm gonna do stuff around the goblin camp. I'm gonna go grab... I'm gonna go grab the worm, probably, from this fella. I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hmm. We... <sighs> Elitid and Wisdom. Yeah, our Wisdom is kind of low. But it's a double die, so... Never mind, it, it's not. I'm not sure what the two and double star was. It's fine. It, it, it might have been just telling me that I need to roll a two. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. It's our brother, True Soul Edwin. He's injured and I... I wasn't thinking. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. The injured man locks eyes with you. The parasite writhes in your head. Um, I'll try to block him out. Never mind. Intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Hmm. Mine, the true soul. She will... She... She... <sighs> I'm still not sure if I want to go full evil. Ed, please. Just kind of be a half these or... Or just destroy these fellas. The absolute. Edwin. I might just go with the flow. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Hmm. Uh, we are looking for housing, actually. I don't know any druids. What? All right. What are you hear? What? What happened to your brother? Let's go with this one. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west. Okay, so they'd be looking for us. Edwin found an oil bear, an angry one. We managed to drag him away, but. The beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edward not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Alright, give me just one second, giving my kids some water. Making sure I don't spill anything accidentally on my keyboard. There we go. <clears throat> hmm. 
Hmm, yeah, you need the... We'll see. Um, just forget the owlbear. And, and just... I mean... I suppose you guys got destroyed. 3v1. How would you fare 2v1? <laughs> I swear, some of these uh, random emotions on the face make no sense. Looks like the absolute Sometimes. Alright. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if... Uh... Oh, wow. What happened to my eyes, bro? Y'all gotta stop and go back. They glitched the hell out of my, my head. host's memories go to waste the tadpole has absorbed it all its experience could nourish you huh. strengthen you okay i'm still not sure if i want to go with the illited route or not use the parasite is that even an option to not use the parasite i think it is um I shall resist, though. There we go. Let's try to keep our minds intact, shall we? Ew. Alright. Where that wormy fella at? No? Where the worm? That was the... Whoops. Camera keeps just running off. Alright, sausage. Got some sausage. And... No worm? I am confused. So we didn't get the worm. Was I not supposed to get the worm here? Is it because I resisted? Damn, that's crazy. Alright. Well. Gale seems to want to talk to me. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and Yeehaw. Why don't we take a little break? Hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. How about no? <laughs> no rest. We've been resting too much as it is. Alright. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that storm. Lazel and Astario are looking like me, uh, looking at me kind of sus. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. Or at Crimeal, rather. Followed the protocol and brought me back to life. In short, I've grown to trust you. Okay. Um, very gratifying, I guess? Feeling's not mutual, though, but he doesn't have to know. confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Okay, what condition? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. I still don't really know what's up with Gale, by the way. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item. And absorb the weave inside. Yeah, all I know is that if he doesn't sucky sucky on some magic items, he just blows up or something. He goes full nuclear. Not sure why though. Um Let's see now. What happens if you don't consume? I'll spare you the finer details, but 
begins with a simple biological deterioration. Muscles All right, here's the explanation, kind of. Ringing in the ears, and if left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. My God. Shadowheart is the most sussy face out of them all. <laughs> uh, sure, I guess I'd be happy to help. You have my thanks. Not like I got a choice. Last time you died, you took a Asterion with you. And will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession, primed for the moment the need arises. All right, let's I see. I can count what exactly do I got on me that I can give Gale? Uh, first of all, I do remember I took this. Now, what I need to uh, read on this is: Will this be useful on a Starion? Let me check. So, zero seven. Oh my, the O seven. <laughs> Okay, so he gets True Strike. Also, viewing my last video, I accidentally read True Strike as Thunder Strike. <clears throat> Excuse me on that one. I did, in fact, read Thunder Punch right before it. Which is why Thunder just stuck in my head, I guess. Can I use both? This is a finesse weapon. I, I can't use both, okay. So this the it's a vert versatile actually not a finesse never mind it's a good weapon just not for a Starion, I guess I don't really want to give watchers guide to Gale I'm not gonna lie but I don't think I got anybody maybe Lazel can Lazel use this kinda. Um, this is a thrown weapon. Lazel is an Eldritch Knight. If I throw this, and I got weapon bound, if I weapon bound this, can I go full ape mode in ranged with this one? That is my question, because this could be really good. This could be really good. I don't know if throwing... Uses strength or int for the Eldritch Knight, though. <laughs> the spells do, in fact, use uh, int saves. Not sure why intelligence is not marked here as primary slash secondary ability. But, yeah. I'm guessing just because Fighter uses strength and con constitution by default. I do need to switch some stats on Lazy also. Um, do I have any other items I can give Gale to sucky sucky on? Can I give this to Gale? Nope. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I got nothing. Oh, Gale does in fact have nature's snare, which I do not need. But for some reason, I cannot give this to Gale. This makes no sense. What if I give this to... Let me try. No, Gail can't suck you on this one. Of course. This is too bad an item for Gail to suck on. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Alright, Gail. Alright. I don't really want to give him Watcher's Guide, though. This is a decent item early on. But it's fine. I'll give him the Watcher's Guide, I guess. I just realized I... Kind of have a lot of gold all of a sudden. Alright, I'm not going to give him the Watcher's Guide right now, but... Anyway. Oh my, it's only been 30 minutes? Yikes. Can you move? There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now, there are a couple of routes here which I wish to explore. Yes. We don't need these. I don't know why I picked them up. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if I go in there, there's the owl bear, with which I do not want to meet in combat. I don't want to meet him in combat. No, I don't actually. Ah, Libor. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. This is obviously where we find out Astarion is a vampire. Even though, if you look at him, it's obvious. Even though he's an elf. Stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. It is pretty obvious he does not want it to be revealed. Anyway, we failed horribly. <laughs> Ufa. Seems to be fresh. Only a few hours dead. But you can't find any sign of a wound. See? Nothing. Come on, we're wasting our time. Yes, it's pretty obvious if you look at Asterion that he's a vampire, though. It is very much obvious. He's literally dressed like a vampire, looks like a vampire, kind of fights like one, too, as a bloodletter. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we could jump here, but I'm not gonna do that. Hey, we found Doggo. Come on, scratch. Mm. Okay, my animal handling is bad. My perception is bad. Uh, intimidation, I guess? I don't really want to intimidate the Doggo, but I don't have a choice. Oh my god, okay. My rolls are very bad. Will I lose doggy? I don't wanna... Man, come on. Please roll at least uh, an 11. There we go. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. It's okay, we don't hurt doggy. I mean... Let's go with option one, because I feel like if I choose option two, he may go away. I don't know why. Heartbroken whine. The dog bows his head. Come on, just follow me. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. Um, hold out your hand so we can follow to camp. The obvious choice. Unfortunately, I don't recall if I have a potion to talk with animals, but I will look at it right now. Hmm. Looking for that animal... Animal talking potion. I don't think I got that on me. I don't think I found one this playthrough, actually. Huh. Damn, that's crazy. Alright. We got a doggy, though. It's fine. Always room for more. Alright. We go around here. How would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me. Make sure we get the fishy. Oops. Alright, right, who is knocking on my door again? Jesus. Oh boy. What I hit the most is when I'm always disturbed during recording for no reason. I'm not gonna lie. Because I, then I have to edit. 
and I don't like having to edit my videos just because I am being disturbed during recording. It's it's so annoying when that happens, bro. I swear to God, it is so annoying. All right, I'm not gonna touch the body because. I don't want Doggy to dislike me. So we can jump here. I know for a fact Karlak is, is around here. I just don't remember where. But it's probably that way. So let's go grab Karlak. Might as well. Might as well. Just get another party member. Because we can get eight. Um, Is it just me or did the weather kind of change? I don't think that was just me. Alright, I'm gonna jump and just use this. This is so much faster. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Milan, our most gifted artisans. Okay. Blood. Hey, we found Carlac. I knew she was around here. A fun fact. You can see Carlac in a first playthrough. If you're in the mountains over there, kind of behind the grove, if you know what I mean. I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> That's how I found Karlak the first time. I saw her from all the way up there somewhere, and then came around and figured it out. Okay. I like Karlak very much, in fact. I will... Keep Karlak, especially now that I can. She is a Super Saiyan, brother. A flaming one. Alright, um... Let's douse the flames? Okay. <laughs> tell me I found you before those so-called paladins of tear did. I don't recall if her dialogue was exactly the same, but I like how she starts. <laughs> uh, feels like a free soul. Feels kind of different from the rest. Oh my god, what is wrong with Gale's eyes, bro? Asterion looking kind of sus too, but Gale's like he's high, actually. Um, I don't remember you from the ship. No, we did not see her on the ship, actually. Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you. But truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See these paladins of. I'm a paladin too, only a black one, kind of. Black guard, remember? Yeah. Visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? You're a devil then, a soldier in the blood war. Not by choice. I'm a good skull crusher. But I never wanted to serve Zariel. From that peak I got into your head, I'm not the only one with problems on top of problems. A mind flayer tadpole, huh? And no joy getting it sorted as of yet, I see. I'm Karlak. And you are... Your new master. Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? A little background. If your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to properly escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. 
The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Want to help me take them down? We shall choose option number one. Fuck yes. <laughs> me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. After we've mopped them up, we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? You want to just team up with some blood-stained killer? Because I'm fine with that. <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I did not expect this interaction with Asterion. Gotta remember, he was not on my not on my team the last time I played. Also, I am probably in for a lot of trouble because if I recall this fight was actually very hard for my first playthrough and I was playing on balanced yeah <laughs> um sounds like a great plan I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off Ooh, I'm getting all het up let's make tracks lovable little demon but if you, if Karlak does not like Zariel, he's go, she gonna love uh, Kremiel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make this joke. Ooh, a backpack. Probably a soul coin in there. Uh, I don't recall if I actually opened this ever, but it's fine. I'm gonna just jump over this. No coin. What is this? Arsonist oil. Oil of accuracy. All right, sure. Now, we will handle this before we do anything else. I just remember this area being kind of dangerous in general. Um, I have not played all that much on the surface, I'm gonna tell you right now. So, in my first actual playthrough where I spent 55 hours in the game, I did this. I dealt with some gnolls, good old doggos over there, which were actually pretty annoying. And then I dealt with the goblin stronghold, which we will do a little bit later. And then I kind of just buggered off to the underside, or underdark, or whatever the name is. And kind of just delved in the deeps, if you know what I mean. But this time I think I'm playing up here first. I've never actually done that, so let's do that. Also, I've never fought these at this level. So, yeah. Uh, we gotta listen to the door. See, we got them gnolls. Okay. Can't go through here. Well, actually, I could maybe position Gale here? I wonder if Gale can shoot through this. Ooh, let me, let's actually level up Karlak first. Alright, she a barbarian. We will probably keep her a barbarian. Come on. Okay. Ooh, Battle Ranger, Beast, Berserk. Ooh, we got some new stuff. Hold up. Hold up. So if I recall, Berserker, Wild Heart, and Wild Magic are the default options. Unmodded in the game. We got Battle Ranger, Beast, and Zealot. Sure. <laughs> Known as Axe Idiot. Okay. Okay. Specializes in axe? Question mark? What is this? Battle Rager armor. While you are wearing medium metal armor and are raging, you can use a bonus action to make one melee weapon attack with your armor spikes. What? Yes, the Thor. I. What? Additionally, when you use the attack action to grapple, 
or throw a creature, the target takes 3 piercing damage. Huh. Armor sp Oh, okay, this makes more sense now. So we got an ability that's called Armor Spikes, which makes sense now. <laughs> While you are wearing medium metal armor and are raging, you can use a bonus action to... Oh, we just read that. Do extra damage with melee and improvised weapons and throwing for 10 turns. If we don't take damage or deal damage, it stops. Okay. And we can't concentrate. Then we have this, which has rage, and that's it. And then Zealot, Divine Fury, Faithful, Warrior of the Gods. Huh. I mean... And then we got Berserker, which is kind of just Karlak. It's kind of just default Karlak. Then we got Wild Magic, which I don't really like, honestly. And Wild Heart, which gives us pick with animals. Bestial Heart. I... Okay. If I recall, this is actually really good the the wild heart one but i think i'm just gonna go with something that i've never played with before so i can mess around if you know what i mean do we go with the beast or zealot or battle rager hmm battle rager gets the most stuff right off the bat apparently can I read Divine Fury? Oh. Okay. So, what if unaligned? Divine Fury, Radiant, Necrotic. Yeah, you know what? Let's not go Zealot. I'm gonna just go Beast. Because I feel like this one suits Karlak the best out of these three specifically. Otherwise, I would probably go Wild Heart or Berserker. Uh, usually just Wild Heart, even though I like Berserker. Because Frenzy Strike is kind of nice. So is Frenzy sometimes. And sometimes you just gonna you just want to throw some stuff. But, yeah, let's just go Beast, I guess. We do have this, which is kind of nice. Alright, we got a Beast. Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to do it. Alright, let's make sure we remove these from the screen. This, this thing is so annoying, this appearance editing thing. I definitely remove that for the next playthrough. It's incredibly annoying how it always just pops up. Alright. I will keep it like this. I'll see if I can find anything to... Let's see, can Gale shoot from all the way over here? Not really. I could shoot the candles, but... Oh! What if I move a little bit? Man... Pain? 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 Yeah, I don't think I can. I had to try, though. Wait. I'm gonna do something I never do. Let me try to find a box. <laughs> Let me try to find a box. Or a barrel. Yeah, alright, you come in with me. Here we go. Whoops. Don't move while I move stuff. Please, just come on. There we go. Alright, now the question is, can I make Gale stand on this? I've never actually tried, but 
We're about to find out. Can I please switch to Gale game? Thank you. For now. Oh, you can. Oh, that's uh, that's interesting. Hold up. May have. Oh, sausage. Good old sausage. I was not aware I can just climb up on top of these. That makes the game much more interesting. All right, she's just looking at me, wondering what the hell's I'm doing. I'm trying to snipe. Can you move a little bit? How am I still unable to hit? Oh, she's too far. Oh, that's annoying, actually. What if I move here? <laughs> I will try this. Please tell me I am able to climb the box. Am I really unable to climb the box because of the door? That makes no sense. There we go. Alrighty then. Whoops. Don't mind me. Failing hard. Oh my god. I can actually hit her from over here. I'm a genius. <laughs> now if I could block the door. So the dudes we heard previously can't leave. Hmm. Hmm. Can I move this? No, that's way too heavy. Alright, can I find something else to block the door? Ooh, another box. That's cute. Wooden trunk, though. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. Luckily, we got a lot of strength. We strong. Alright. Gotta make sure they cannot open door. Gotta remember that. Okay. Also gotta make sure they can't climb up. Now I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. But you never know with this game. They may just walk through for some reason. I've had that happen before. <laughs> Let me try to see if there's another door here, because I do not recall. No door behind, but I do recall seeing it upstairs. Oh, bless you. A burrow hole? What is this? I'm way too big. This is the first time I find this, by the way. And I cannot explore, because I am way too big. And Shadowheart is not a trickster anymore. Welp. Trying to find a way to jump here. I I can't jump. Oh, there we go. Ooh, a soul coin. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, I could dunk you so hard from up here. <laughs> uh, I probably cannot though, but it's fine. Let me block the door. So they can only come through one entrance, if you know what I mean. Okay, can I block this door with more than just one box or barrel? Oh, a little bit of moonwalking. Michael Jackson would be proud. Alright, how do I do this? Will this work? This, this might not work. This might not work. I'm telling you right now, this might not work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Pleasurable it. deal. Alright. Can I move this table? Can I break this table and move the parts? Nope. Never mind. All right. Do I have a box or something in here? I, I got the the thing I don't really want to put down, which, which is the Nautiloid tank. I do have one oil barrel, but I don't want to. Ah, uh, do I want to drop that here? Why am I unable to? Hello. 
Okay, for some reason I am literally unable to move that how I would like. I don't even know if this works, but I'm I'm doing it anyway. Gotta make sure they can only come through one door. Here's hoping they can't just randomly climb the chairs. Okay. Let's use this leather. Um, you know what? I'm gonna... No, no, no. Okay, it's fine. Never mind. I, I found these here, but, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna move the, the things here and see what happens. Alright, what you gonna do now? <laughs> what you gonna do now? You know what? Uh, I gotta... Mm. Unfortunately, this is gonna fail for some reason. Because it's pushing her all the way over there. Alright, this works, but... Let's see what happens if I just sit here. So I don't think she's able to enter her house anymore. Because I blocked off all the entrances. This is gonna be interesting. Well, here goes nothing. Boom. Boom! Ah! Alright, um, I kind of failed here, but it's fine. We need Gale. Yeah, we just bring the party at this point. Now, I'm just gonna use Thunder Wave on this one. Good to know that we can do this, by the way. I'm just gonna Thunder Wave her off the cliff, just yeet. Boom! Are you serious? Okay, I'm hoping they can't... I'm hoping they can't come. Okay, you're gonna blind me. Uh, they can't come through. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? What? <laughs> uh, why can't they open door, by the way? Okay, it's fine. It's not, but sure. I'm just gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna look at that baguette. First of all, and then I'm gonna teleport. Because otherwise, they're gonna start targeting Gale, and we don't want that. My group is in a, a literal bad position right now, but it's fine. Alright, the fact that Kremiel is down there is so annoying, but it's fine. Of course she has a shield. I failed so hard. So hard. It actually hurts. I know it's gonna hurt you guys when you see this, but it hurts me more. <laughs> I was such a failure, bro. Oh my god. Alright, what do I do? I don't really want to use my... It's fine. Can I throw something that is... Gonna be useful here. I'm just... Throw the staff. Sure. How do you... It literally just stopped on top of her. What do you mean a miss? Alright. It's fine. See, this dude is the problem. He's got a big sword. Okay. Um. The fact that this is concentration is killing me. I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna have to use spiritual weapon here. I, I I need to jump first. Before I do anything else. And I can't do anything else because I jumped. Because this is a bonus action. But it's fine. Uh, 
Can I move here still? Yes, okay. Alright. I'm gonna just circle around her. Make sure she can't move. Okay, you is bleeding. I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I have advantage? Are you serious? What's this? Okay. Carlac, please just push if you can. Of course you can't because the tree is blocking the way. That is so sad how they coded it this way. If I push here, she doesn't uh, go off the, the edge. She just... If she falls down, she falls down on the spot, which is kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie, that is actually silly. Also, I am failing horribly on just beating this one person. Ow! <sighs> sure, I'm gonna rage here. Let's see, we got Form of the Beast. Once on each of your turns, when you damage a creature with this bite, you regain two hit points. Not bad, not bad. Only when we have less than half hit points. When you hit. Oh. Once on each of your turn, when you attack with a claw using the attack action. I don't have claws. What? Tail. I do have a tail. I'm gonna use this. I think. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna use the tail one. So we swipe with tail. Potentially causing the attack to miss. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Are you kidding me? How do you even see me, brother? I am being seen from somewhere where I should not be seen. What? <laughs> I am confused. Alright, Gale. I, why can't I see this person? Where are you at? Oh, she's literally inside Karlak. Hold up. Oh, she's immune to... See, I couldn't see. Okay. And if I would have read, she has shield, which is literally immune to magic missile. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. You guys have to witness this. Alright, I can't bone chill because it's right here. I can't really do anything. I'm gonna... Try to push, but if I push, what? Where are you going if I push, though? Why are you not showing me in which direction she's gonna be pushed? Game? Alright. Very weird. But, sure. Okay, that's a little bit of damage. Give me one second, gotta make sure my kid actually goes to the bathroom. Almost just want to save, just save scum this, if you know what I mean. Ah, this is such a complete failure, what I've done here, but it's fine. I will live with it. Okay, at least Kremil hit. Please just make it all the way to the ladder, at least. Alright, now, can you climb? I 
I'm 100% sure I clicked the ladder, but it's fine. Okay, let me just... It's fine. Everybody's clumped up here. It's fine. <laughs> it's really not fine, but yeah. Okay, he's just gonna jump or climb over. Yes. This is so bad. Alright. I'm gonna have a spiritual weapon on this guy. Let's see. Um... Does it matter? Is the question. I'm gonna assume it matters, even though it doesn't show, but if it does matter, then Maul would be blunt damage. So let's figure this one out. Does it matter, though? Let's see, what other spells can I use right now? I can't... You know what? I need to start examining my people. Oh my god. Jesus. Keep in mind they're level 5, by the way. Even though I got, I got two extra party members, they are still level 5. This is a level 4. Which is probably why I'm having so... much issue with this person alone. I think I just go with an extra blessing here. For the AC. Should I give it to Asterion, though? That is the question. I think I should. I really think I should, because he's right there and he might get hit. I'm hoping he doesn't get hit, though. But it's fine. I'm hoping if I send Shadow Heart... I can't jump because I just used the bonus. If I send Shadow Heart here, hopefully they focus on Shadow Heart. I believe this is like the second or third time I am being stopped during recording and just being asked to move outside the room for whatever reason. <sighs> Alright. I don't know, bro. Like, today has been painful. <laughs> painful, and I can't really focus on the game, but it's fine. I will do this video anyway. Now, if I were to actually restart this, I would be finishing this trader right here probably within a single turn because I did not pay attention to the game and what I should have done is when I pushed her off I should have prepared somebody down there okay like Kremiel or Lazel or both or Karlak and one of those others right here made sure I had uh, Gale up here and just hit her at the same time when she falls so she can't heal up anyway uh that was the plan initially but i did not execute it's fine it's fine i don't think i'm in range to be hit am i i'm immobile though which is pain but can i hit from here oh i can which is bad if i can hit so can he or day, however you prefer. Okay. I have no blood distance. Kinda bad. I'm gonna heal right off the bat. I feel like that's the plate, though I may lose my HP. I... I can't hit with anything. I think this is the highest. 64, never mind. Okay, we're doing... Never mind, never mind. I accidentally cl uh, almost clicked on Spiritual Weapon, which I do not want to do. Can I grapple? Oh, I... No. I'm gonna just dodge. And hope for the best. Alright. Hopefully, you go down in one hit, okay? Uh... Alright. Finally, Karlak doing Karlak things. Okay, Karlak got shot. I forgot about the one hiding in the back. I don't even know how you see me through the door, brother. But, sure. Could I... 
Gonna try something here. Could I teleport inside? Wait. Hold up! I can't zoom in any closer because they're inside! If I do this, I don't think it's gonna hit. Ah, pain. Alright, it's fine. I'm gonna just focus this person down right now. If I put on the, the fog cloud right here, I don't think I'm gonna be hit by good old snipey inside over there. Let me try. Most excellent. Yo, where are you going? What? Ugh. Confusion just struck me hard. But I think I just go here, actually. I think this is such a best... Such the best plan. Does that even make sense? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. I feel like this is a great idea, though. Unless he gets hit randomly. Let me just close the door. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. Alright, I'm gonna Thunder Strike. Uh, I keep calling this Thunder Strike because it's purple. And above the Thunder Punch. I'm sorry. Yes, I will use this. Do I use this on myself, or do I use this on... Where's Cremiel? Right here. I think I use this on Cremiel, because she has stronger attacks, currently. And I think that's my turn, for now. That said, let me just surround this puppy. Make sure they can't leave. How do you provoke attack of opportunity? Okay, this does not provoke attack of opportunity. Hopefully they cannot see through the blindness fog. Because <laughs> if they can, that's really bad. Now, let me actually test this. So, yeah, okay, so I was correct. This is bludgeoning damage plus force. Nice. Let me just concussive smash. Boom. Hey. No choice but to keep going. All right. I did just cast this. We have two turns. I should be making sure Astarion does not get hit, though. But at the same time, I kind of just want to hit him hard. I may miss. So let me read. I do have advantage on attack roll, so maybe I don't miss. I'll I'll try. I'll try very hard. Let's go. That's a lot of damage. And now we just make sure we close this door. No, no. Misclick. It happens. <laughs> All right. Oof, uh, yeah, okay, I should've... Oh my god! Yo, chill! He just crisped Astarion, literally. Yeah, this guy's a pain. Now Astarion is just dead, dead. Rip. Oh boy. I think I just... I kinda just have to... Smack him hard with something. I'm gonna just Searing Smite. I will attempt. It may fail, but I will attempt. Yeah, it failed hard. Okay. If I jump, will I get hit? I don't think so. Because, probably because they are dazed. So if I lash my tail, I should technically make the next attack miss. No? Okay. I think I failed the, the thing where I make a miss, but it's fine. What? 
What are you doing in melee? What? I'm sorry, I need to check the strength on this one. What the hell? Okay. How does... I'm sorry, does 20 decks allow this person right here, which is an archer, to push a 17 strength character? Does... I'm sorry, does decks count for them as strength or something? Or did I fail? I, I am so confused on what happened. Did I, did I fail the saving throw? What the hell? I need to check. Hold up. Can I even check this? I should be able to. Let's see. I succeeded a saving throw on Arrow of Lightning. Dice rolled again. Failed Athletics. Succeeded Athletics. What? Okay, dude. Okay. I guess because they have higher decks. Even though that makes no sense to me, but sure. <laughs> I guess. I'm, I'm sorry, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of things that literally make no sense to me because of how other games have trained me to play. I am sorry, I blame other games for that, okay? Also, this is going through the door, apparently. Sure. Uh, I need to move Gale from here, because if not, they're gonna try to shoot him. Gotta make sure we do not shoot Gale. Or leave him to be shot. I think I just rush attack. If I rush attack, will this cause... Wait, nothing should cause anything right now, because... He's asleep. <laughs> okay. I am blinded, but... It should technically be fine. Now, if I do lacerate, it's still 35. Hmm. What do you mean it's out of sight? It's literally in front of you. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna just try to smack. It's fine. I did use this previously, which means it's unavailable. I need a short rest. But, yes. Alright, please make that 55% count and be a 9 at least. The fact that this person just dodged a hit while dazed is incredible to me. Alright. I think I just... I need Lazel to go back. That's what I need. Okay, tail defense. Oofa. Oh my god! Oh my god! That damage. Holy, okay. I will literally have to just compel do- Oh my god, it's a 10%. It's because I'm low wisdom. Compared to what? Compared to the 20 strength, probably. Or the 20 charisma, I'm not sure. What are these stats, brother? That's a lot of... 20, 20? What? Okay, I need to somehow make sure Karlak does not get destroyed next turn. So, let me just thank Trudy. Because this is the only way I know how to save her right now. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Quite literally the only way I know how to save her right now. That's a 30. That's a 35. I should probably revive a Ster Wait, if I don't revive a Sterion now, will the game revive him after? Question mark? Like after the battle? 
I'll try. Ready for another round. What is your AC? It's 15 AC. How do you dodge so much, brother? I know it's 50% or 55, but Jesus. Okay. Let's see. Is there any way I can make sure I hit him and do at least nine? Any way I can make sure I actually hit this next hit, though? If I do this and fail, it's gonna break Sanctuary, isn't it? What do I do? I want to lacerate so bad, but if I miss, Carlag's just down for the count. You know what? YOLO. YOLO. Ow! I will push you. Never mind. For some reason, I he can't be pushed. Okay. Oofa. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need Gale inside. Or actually, you know what? What I need to do is make sure Gale just... Please destroy this person. Thank you. Oh my god. Make sure I teleport Gale here and... I hope for the best. Let me just teleport him on top of this and... Can I open from here? Nope. I have to close the door back. Time to strike. Okay. Now, Lazel, I don't think you can do anything from over here. So what I'm going to try is to get you in just a little bit closer. How about here? Can you get there? You can What is your defense? Oh my god, 17 AC. High fire res. It's got lightning and cold vulnerability. I will try a thunder punch, but it's kind of bad. Because I have low int on Lazo. Ugh. I'll try Lacerate again. It's 45. Okay. We did hit. That's good. That's very good. Let me drop. Let me drop the auto use healing potion. I need to make sure I can fly this one. I can't. Man. Okay, it's fine. Just move here. Can I fly you from here to there? Can we fly inside? Not enough movement. Why is this not enough movement? Is it because I am obstructed? The vision is obstructed? I wonder if this is worth the cost. Alright, I'm not gonna send Kremiel in there. We are gonna get destroyed, even though Kremiel is probably the one that should be there. Um, let's see, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. Do I wanna send Kremiel inside? Can I hit this from here? I don't think I can. It's a 6% because of the blindness. Also because of high defense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let me... Let me use a potion. And try not to die, I guess. What I'm gonna do is, first of all, uh, I, I can't jump because I just used the bonus action. I keep forgetting this is a bonus action. Uh, okay, it's fine. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move Kremiel out of the way. Hopefully I don't get shot through the wall. Even though it, it has happened before.
Let's try to dash Shadowheart inside. I am surprised she can go all the way over there. Okay, Lazel is almost full HP though. I wish I could shoot the crossbow, but I can't. It's fine. I don't really want to waste any spells right now. So I'm going to attempt to not. Let me loot Anders. Oh, mama. Alright, let's grab this one. We got a medium armor, but we don't want that. Let's see what the traders got since we're here. Yoink. Let's see. I almost yoink everything. Bolt of choke. Cutting board. Ocean of animals speaking. Subsosig. Sure. Alright, well, that's all there is to what Karlak can do. Alright, let's check your moves. Shield. Okay. How are you shoving... Oh my god, this one dex user is a pain. Can I shoot you with magic missile from here, please? Whoa, where are you going though? You know what, I'll take it. Okay, they found the path. <laughs> They found a path. I'm gonna close the door again. No one gale targeted. Okay, I'm gonna just rush attack. And hope for the best. Okay, let's end the turn on Lazel. Send this one in here as close as possible, I guess. Can I still fly? No. Man, kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. I'm just gonna end turn on, on Kremiel. There's nothing I can do. I don't want to lose HP or Kremiel in the process of trying to beat this one person. And... Shoot her. Okay. Fuck them. Yes. Fuck Cremiel too. <laughs> never coming back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they will find nothing but a pile of ash. Mm -hmm. Easy. Uh oh, she's about to go ballistic. Alright, y'all gotta move. Move! Move! Alright, she's going ballistic in there. <laughs> we will have to wait for Karlak for 10, 7 turns. But, yeah. The Karlak incident has happened. And that's probably the name of the video. <laughs> the, let's see. Let's not call it, oh, we gotta move. She's coming outside too. I'm just calling it the fire incident at this point. Alright. Well, while I wait for Karlak... We might as well end this video, but before I do that, we need the short rest. There we go. Alright, um, I will see you guys next time. I only had one short rest. Um, Next time we're probably gonna go... Well, explore this way where I have never been before.
I'm definitely looking forward to exploring some stuff. Some stuff I've never seen before. Yeah. I'll see you next time on the next episode of Crimeo.